In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful, I would like to welcome all of you students of today's lesson, which is going to be about Unit 4 project. Today, inshallah, we will design a slideshow about international snacks. International snacks, okay? As usual, we will start by revising the previous lesson. Do you remember this one? We talked about countable and non-countable nouns. Very good. We said that with countable nouns, we could use it as singular and plural. Very good. And here we could use it also with different and indefinite articles. Okay. And we mentioned that the definite article is the. Okay. And the indefinite article are a and an. Okay. So as you can see here, the students did the homework. This is the different article. And I ate a burger on the lunch, and this is the indefinite article. Let's move to the non-count or non-countable nouns. And we said that we cannot use the indefinite articles, a and an, and also cannot be expressed in plural form. We cannot use it as plural. Okay, we said that milk. Okay, we have milk. That's it. Okay, we cannot say milks. Okay, it's incorrect. Okay, very good. Also, we ca uh, it can be used, I mean the non-countable uh, non noun, with definite article, with the, and also without an article. Without, without an article at all. Okay, for example, we listen to the rain, okay, during the storm, and he listened to music here without, as you can see, without the article. Very good. What about the expressions of quantity? We talked about some, okay, and any. We said that some is used in affirmative statements or sentences, like, for example, there is some juice, okay, there are some fries, okay, here. I'm talking about using some in affirmative situations or statements. What about any? Any is used in negative. And, of course, any questions, okay? For example, we don't have any uh, juice, okay? Or uh, there aren't any fries. Also, any questions? Is there any juice and are there any fries, okay? So here we use some in affirmative statements, any in negative and questions. What else? Do we have another uh, qu quantity? Yes, we do, but first, Let's see would like here. Why we use would like? We use it for preferences, okay? If I have choices on something, something like that, okay? So would you like, I'm offering now, okay? Here, ju just like this one. What would you like? What would you like? Okay, and I'd like a steak sandwich. The other question is what? Would you like some mustard on it? Yes, please. Oh, no, thank you. Okay, so I used would, or sometimes I use what would. Okay, all of these are correct. Here, we have also quantity, expressions of quantity, as I said earlier. But now, we're talking about few, a little, uh, a lot of, much, many, and, of course, enough. And we mentioned that with the countable nouns, okay, we use a few, few tomatoes, few oranges, and so on, okay? And if I have, for example, here many, many, I have many vegetables, okay? I'm talking about here, okay, as you can see, the plural form, okay, the plural one. Any questions? I use how many? I use... How many bananas do you have? How many bananas do you eat, for example? What about the non-countable nouns, okay? I use, for example, a little, okay, and much, okay? And also, in uh, questions, I use how much? How much uh, milk do you need, okay? Or how much milk uh, do you drink? Water do you drink, okay? So here, I will use how many for the countable nouns, and here I use how much for 
non-countable nouns. Okay, very good. Let's move to let's move to a lot of and enough. What about them? A lot of and enough. It could be used in both countable and non-countable nouns with countable and non-countable nouns. Okay, as you can see here, I eat a lot of eggs. Okay, but I don't eat a lot of bread. Here I have eggs, countable. Bread, non-countable. I don't eat enough fruit. And I don't drink enough water. As you can see here, I could use these two, which is a lot of and enough, with either uh, countable or non-countable nouns. Okay? Very good. Now let's go to the sequence. Okay? Numbering, for example, or something like that. Sequence words. First, then, after that, and finally. We mentioned that first is used usually at the beginning of a sentence or when you tell a story or something, or something like that, okay? If you say first, okay? Or even uh, if you, uh, before you start something, okay? You could use, for example, before, okay? Then. First, then, and as you can see here, we use the comma after the sequence words. Okay, the sequence words. First, comma. You mix the flour and the eggs. Then, you add a little butter. After that, you put in a teaspoon of baking powder. Finally, you let, uh, you let it rise. Okay, so as you can see here, first, then, after that, and finally. Okay, very good. And the last thing we mentioned, words connected to or with recipes. And inshallah, in today's lesson, we are going to use these words. Okay, why? Because inshallah, we are going to design a slideshow, a presentation, and so on, about recipes, okay, in your country or in another Arab, in Arab countries, for example, okay? So here, as you can see, this uh, on page 65, uh, this table on page 65, you could use this one to write recipes and so on. For example, a dish, uh, quantity, ingredients, what to put inside the, the dish itself, actions, tenseless, and cooking method. Okay, cooking method. Now, let's move to our lesson today, page 66. We have a project, as I said earlier, you are going to design a slideshow, a presentation, for example, PowerPoint presentation, or a poster, for example. Okay, so what we are going to do is this. Number one, make a list of snacks, make a list, so the first thing you, are, you will do, making a list of snacks and desserts in your country, in your country. And research, okay, snacks uh, and desserts in another country. So first you are going to do a list, okay? Then you will do a research in what? In other countries, okay? In other countries a list of your desserts and snacks in your country, and you are going to research the snacks or, or desserts in another countries, okay? For example, uh, of the Arab world. Add two more countries. You are going to see this, inshallah, in the chart in a few seconds, okay? In this chart, I mean. Then, after that, what will you do? Gather information. Gather, uh, gathering information. You will gather a lot of information and make notes. About what? Making notes about what? Okay, about this. Name. The name of the desert or snack in your country or as known, okay? The origin, from where? For example, I'm talking about uh, some deserts, okay? So the deserts, for example, uh, Kunafa, for example, okay, it's actually originated from uh, Palestine or something like that, okay. So here I'm giving it the place 
where it's actually bigger. In ingredients, okay, we talked about the ingredients, what to put inside, for example, one of these foods, as you can see here, we have date, okay, also, uh, as you call it, uh, baklava in Arabic, of course, talking about, okay, and some snacks also, as you can see in those pictures, okay, and you can put ingredients, what kind of ingredients, ingredients inside. Then, preparation, how to prepare instructions, okay, how to prepare this one, okay, how to do uh, the spousa, for example, how to do the, uh, the snacks, and so on. Way it's served and presented, as you can see in some pictures, okay, we have uh, a taste or a flavor of some, something, for example, is it uh, to, but, uh, to design these things, these desserts, for example, okay, using a bowl here uh, with the date, okay, so I am designing this, uh, the, uh, those dishes, okay, in order to serve, okay, or present it to uh, the audience or to the, uh, the people. Then, occasions, talk about occasions, for example, when do you eat, for example, baklava here, okay, for family gathering, Okay, sometime in holidays, in, uh, in, in Eid, for example, Eid holidays, okay. So, here you have to ask your uh, parents, for example, for these kind of snacks, okay, or desserts. Then, try to gather information. Ask them, ask your mother, ask your sisters, okay, about the desserts, okay. Here I'm talking about, or even the snacks. Okay, where it's orig or uh, originated, okay, and also how we can prepare those desserts and snacks, okay. Use this one, this chart, okay, to write notes. For example, here, you are from Saudi Arabia, okay, so you should name the desserts, okay, for example, right, uh, I'm talking about a famous dessert in, in Saudi Arabia, which is called... Okay, in Arabic we call it hineni, okay, hineni, and how is the, what is the ingredients? It is with date, okay, and sometimes with bread, okay, so we mix the date and the bread together, preparation, okay, mix the date, and inshallah we are going to see how we can do this uh, dessert in Saudi Arabia, okay, then find another country, Okay, another country, and try to compare between them. For example, use from uh, Syria, Iraq, Lebanon, Jordan. You can add more, two more countries, okay, in the same chart. Okay, find whatever you want, and I mean uh, countries you want, or you would like, okay, to write about the desserts or the snack, okay? As you can see here, we have a famous dishes, it's called in Arabic, okay, it's a, a, a favorite snack sometimes because it is made from uh, bread, sometimes egg, okay, vegetables and meat, okay. What about here? We call it kleja and it's actually uh, it's stuffed inside something like, for example, uh, flavored, okay, dates. We have, for example, uh, the, uh, the caramel or sometimes with chocolate and so on. Okay, so this is uh, what I'm talking about when you choose the snack or the dessert, okay? For example, now let's move and to see how we can prepare the uh, hineni I'm talking about here, okay? These are the ingredients, these are the ingredients as you can see, okay? One cup brown flour, okay? Uh, one out of four, of course I'm talking about quarter, cup milk, half cup dates based, then what does it mean based here? Okay, it is, uh, it's like liquid, okay, you must put, uh, or, it's, or you must use it like a liquid. Uh, then, you have to use a quarter uh, teaspoons, T-S-P here, it means teaspoon, okay, ground uh, cardamom, then a uh, quarter teaspoon salt, uh, one teaspoon, okay, ghee oil, 
then two tea, uh, tablespoons, okay, butter, and finally with a lemon, one lemon slice to uh, garnish, of course, in here, as you can see, okay, this one, and this is the final one, okay. How we can do this, this is the instruction, okay, we are going to mix flour, salt, add water, till combines, and bit sticky, okay, to be sticky. Cover to rest for 30 minutes, divide into uh, three or bo uh, four bowls, okay, just like bowls. Then spread the ghee oil all over. Sometimes it, it comes like this one, okay, as you can see here in this picture, okay, but sometimes it comes with like, uh, like bowls, okay, pretty good. Now, heat milk with cardamom and sit aside when boils, add ghee uh, on hand, okay, spread duff, cook over hot pan from all sides. So, these are the instructions to do like this one, okay. What about uh, another one or another kind of, uh, for example, let's go for the uh, Egyptian or the Syrian one here, basbus I'm talking about, okay. So, the ingredients, again, okay, two cups and here one cup. So, here as you can see, we use a lot of uh, ingredients, okay, also uh, the kind to use, okay, uh, one tablespoon, one teaspoon, and so on, okay. And what about this one, as you can see in this picture, okay, you can design it, okay, to finish and to serve, okay, it, to use what, the, the here, for example, the coconut, okay, I'm talking about, or almond, for example, to design your, your desserts, and so on. What about the instructions? As you can see here, you have all the instructions to prepare basbusa, as I said earlier, okay, and these are the instructions. Preheat oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit, I'm talking about, okay, to mix semolonia, coconut, sugar, baking soda, and the butter in large bowl. So I am giving you the instruction how you can do this, okay, in, in your home even, okay. But if, if you want help, call your mother, call your sister to help you with that, and inshallah they will help you, of course, okay. And this is how we can differentiate. Don't forget, guys, you need to, as I said earlier, okay, you can add photos and drawings, just like what I did here, okay, add photos, okay, add a lot of photos, drawing or something, something like that to your recipes, okay, to the slideshow you are going to present, okay, and what about finally, use your notes to make a poster or PowerPoint presentation for your class, okay, make the notes, you just wrote here, okay, take them and what you are going to do is designing okay make a booster or powerpoint presentation this is your project for today's lesson making a booster and powerpoint or powerpoint presentation using as i said pictures drawing and try to also differentiate between okay, uh, different snacks and desserts between countries Okay, from your own country and find another country, okay? And as, a, as you see here, this is the final slide of our lesson today, as I said earlier, okay? Let's see the objective again. Create a slideshow about international snack, okay? About international snack. I would like to thank all of you for watching us today. Thank you and inshallah I will see you at the next lesson. Goodbye.